Players, I can lie. I can like barely hear out of this thing. Um, but yeah. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. Hello, fellow cosplayers, and welcome back to Cosplay Halloween 2020. So, in today's video, I am going to be turning myself, as you saw by the title, I am going to be doing an alien look um, with um, a very, very ginormous head that I am that I'm really having trouble with um sticking down like um but yeah so but yeah so in today's video if you saw by the title I am going to be doing an alien for you guys now you might already know that I actually haven't done an alien in a while. I actually only have done one alien, and that is one of my favorite, favorite looks that I've ever done on this channel. But in today's look, I'm gonna be going for like a different route for the alien, and I'm gonna do a more like a, a more uh, like Area 51 kind of style alien, if you guys get what I mean. Oh, you guys probably get what I mean. Like, you know, last year with, like, the Area 51 raid, which is probably not happening this year because of COVID. But, um, yeah, so, comment, oh, and, uh, also, I co comment below what you guys think about the conspiracy theories that are going behind there. I don't know about you, but I think those those conspiracy theories are true. Like I I like because like what you guys don't know is that there's a whole other like galaxy. There's an entire galaxy, so like aliens could exist. Maybe. Maybe your roommate is an alien. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, uh, enough with the chit chat. Let's get into the tutorial. <laughs> Okay, so to start out this, um, video, as you can tell, I am starting to, uh, I blocked my eyebrows out for this. Um. And, um, uh, I'm gluing down my, uh, my uh, alien like cowl prosthetic and this is the first time I made a prosthetic that is this big and I'm just like oh this stuff sticks on well but yeah I um basically um um, I basically used a uh, tin foil, uh, late and uh, latex paste. Um, I will link a couple of video references in the description if you guys want to recreate this cowl. It 
was a very messy process, but hey, the FX side of things just gets messy. And um, as far as glues go, uh, this is um, I'm gonna I'm using Cellabond, which is a actually a silicone base glue, and it actually it sticks. This is actually the first time I'm using this bad boy. It sticks a lot better than Prosade. Um. The only downside to it is that it is hella expensive. Like, 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 Prosade is like eight or, like, this bottle cost me like $13. This little thing cost me 40 bucks. But, like, this sticks a lot more, but it's um, relatively more pricey, so, if you guys don't want to, like, spend, so if you guys do not want to spend $40 on, like, a tiny bottle of, it, of adhesive, you can get Rose and oh, I'm gluing down my eyelid. I'm doing gluing down my eyelid. Hopefully this doesn't take, and it's currently like 9.01 a.m., I mean p.m., so, and I have school tomorrow morning, so, I hopefully I can get this done, this done in the next hours or so, in the next hour or so. Um, in the next, like, hour or so. Okay, so what I'm doing with this is I'm taking like the edges of this gigantic prosthetic and like like sticking them on and off so, until they like just stick. And like, I think I, I kind of gave myself an eye lift. I'm just like going around and gluing them edges. Down. Oh, I just did it around. That is your one of the day.
Okay, so the only edge that is kind of like giving me problems is this thing right over here. But we're just gonna have to live with this. So, because it's time for me to move on. So, for the next step, I'm gonna take Bondo, which is Prose Cream and the tag is ripped off. And, uh, come on. Open. Uh, uh. I'm gonna be taking, as I said, Bondo, also known as Prose Cream, and I'm gonna take the under the Ask Spatula. And I'm gonna be using that to patch up. Oh, I think I should let the glue, you know what, too late. Let it like patch up the edges of. No, actually, I'm gonna use it with the Q tip. Uh, I'm gonna just be using that to like just patch up the edges. And this is like the best thing to use for a uh, latex appliances. Uh, especially foam, which this isn't is. Um, this is not. Um, which this is not. But it's like nice for, um, it's nice for, uh, like, gluing down the, like, covering up the really thick edges on the appliance, on an appliance that you can't really, like, that is, like, really hard to, like, uh, Why does this keeps coming off? You know what? I just need to like, I'm gonna just take. I don't know if it's like bad to mix two adhesives together, but I'm gonna do it. Um, huh. so, now the way I made this, uh, prosthetic, it's obviously not a professional method of doing it. Um, you would obviously, like, want to, uh, like, sculpt it out of clay and make it out of foam latex, which I have worked with foam latex, but I cannot, I do not have the funds to, but like that is like not something that I can do. I don't have accessible to do, to do. Um, usually for creating a, a prosthetic that big, you, um, a foam latex or something like that big, you would need a lab to do it in. And I do not own. And I do not have those resources in Toronto <laughs> to create a, uh, a foam prosthetic that this big. So this is like the next best thing. So like this is the next best thing as opposed to using foam latex. But not, and plus, not only, not only do I have the, uh, 
Not only do I have like the 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 uh, resources to create to do it, but I also don't have the time. Usually, something like that would take like a month, an entire. First of all, it would cost like a hundred, maybe three hundred dollars, and it would also take an entire month of Mama's life. So, and I do not have that time. Or like maybe it can be done in a week, but like I don't have that time. Oh no no not the hairs. Oh no not the hairs. Okay, now we dry. So while this is drying, I decided I might as well read you guys a UFO sighting. Okay, so according to the disproved tile pap papyrus, I I don't know her name. Claims to be an Egyptian Paris de Papyrus dating from the reign of Totemus, the claim of publish, um, is this even? No, it's not, um, sorry, I forgot I pulled up the wrong thing. Uh, let's see. So, okay, so, apparently, Western Pater, Patagon, Pentagon is forming a new task force to investigate the UFO that has been observed by the U.S. military aircraft, according to two Denthinists officials. Deputy Security of the David North North Coast will help oversee the task force which is expected to be officially unavailable in the, in the next few years. According, according to the officials, previous efforts to look into the Pentagon dubs under theft area, the Penanomia, I'm sorry, I'm bad with these words, were led by the U.S. Navy and many of the doubt the demented economies involved their aircraft. The department decreased and did not immediately respond to a request for comment. Members of the Congress officials expected. Hold on, I'm, I'm actually not going to read through this entire thing. 
So yeah, um, there, I guess, might have been an alien sighting in the U.S. Uh, so that is your other lesson for today. I'm sorry I didn't get through the entire thing, but it's, like, so long. So, like, this video... If I were to get through the entire thing, then this video... Would be, like, an hour long, and... But I'll actually see if I can link the article in the description in the video if you guys want to review and see it. But I'm gonna actually just take a more of a more bondo and uh, oh, this edge. You know what? I am sick of this edge. I am I am tired of this edge. I am just gonna. don't have scissors here, so I cannot cut it. Not cut it at all. So. But I... I am... Damn. Oh, sorry. So, yeah. Okay, so what I did is I just went over with some more Bondo and like edges that were hard to fill in. And now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be taking my flash palette and I'll be using the brown shade. And I am gonna be using that to like mark out where my aliens irises go if that kind of like makes sense and this would be a lot easier if I had a uh, liner to do it because like uh oh I'm out of focus um this would be a lot easier because cream and paint it just smudges a lot Okay, so for the next step, I'm gonna make this wall a little bit higher. So I grabbed my Smooth On's Skin Tight, which is my new favorite silicone product. And what I'm doing is, I am gonna be taking equal parts. Gotta 
really be careful and you got to really like work fast with this stuff because it really sets fast and I'm going to just take a little bit of the thinner just to thin it up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to mix it together with my little popsicle stick. What I'm going to be doing with this step is I'm going to be using it to make the wall higher. So I might, and I might have to like, like make a a second batch and I think I made this look this a bit too thin. I guess I did. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit mm. silicone just to make it a little bit more thicker. Uh. Just to make it like, make it a little bit more thicker and like, whoa, that's really, really, really thin. And I'm gonna like, the best thing, way to work with this is, mm, sections and it's this is really this is only like my second time using this stuff and it's fine I might have to like, like I said, I may have to mix up another batch of this. I think I used, I used a little bit too much thinner to this stuff. Either that or it's just very... very soft silicone before this dries I'm gonna just take it in again and just blend it into the skin I guess now I'm gonna mix up another batch but now I'm not gonna use as much thinner as I did before. Just a tiny drop. Shit, did I use too much? I guess I did, so I'll just do a little bit more of that. And now I'm gonna just do some more again. So now it's a time lapse time. Sorry if I'm, and I'm sorry if I'm looking down too much, I'm just trying to concentrate, but yeah, time lapse time. Okay, so now I'm taking my RCMA No Color Powder and just removing the tack of the silicone so I can paint over it. Hope 
Oh, so I can paint over it. Because it's always... Y'all always know that you have to... Like... <gasps> I almost dropped my powder. Good thing I catched it. But anyway, so... For the next step, and ooh, I, I'll, I'll forget it. I'm, I'm gonna be taking my. We're gonna start with the base. I'm gonna be taking my Diamond FX um, paint in the color pale green. And as you can see, it's just like a pale green. And on the brush is gonna be my uh, Signature 30 brush. Uh, and I'll just be painting that all over the cowl and all over my face. I don't know how I'm gonna paint this. I've never painted a cowl before, but let's see. Okay, so I just realized I cannot film a lot of this part of the video because my camera is at 13% so I need to go and charge it and I gotta keep going because I can't not like pause and stop um I need to keep going I cannot stop I need to keep going because I have school tomorrow and I cannot stop so I'll probably like do the base I can't like again I can't like film it film me doing it sadly but it's what has to be done. In fact, I... In fact, I um, started this like the week before we went back to school, so... And I was supposed to do it like... Film it yesterday, but I didn't get to it. So yeah, like, and... I think I added a little bit too much water with this paint. Actually, you wanna know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix in a little bit of, this seems like a little bit too blue for me. I do not want my alien to be completely blue. So I'm gonna mix in a little bit of okay so sorry about that my camera died and now it's at 18 percent so uh hopefully i can get this video done before it dies but so i have to continue going because my i have to get up early tomorrow because i have school tomorrow but um all you missed is, is that i what i was gonna say is that i mixed in a little bit of wolf effects in light green uh oh 57 and this is like like it said it was like a, a light green and i mixed it in and it did a lot better but it also made me look like the dude from rango and i also switched to a sponge because it just covered a lot more did a lot more better than uh than the um than the um
Uh, then the this one, its own did. And it also make me look like the dude from Ringo. Well, I think I already said that. Comment below if I already said that. But yeah, just paint it all over. Like so. I'm also gonna take a little bit on my hands as well. Because we're an alien, we have to have matching hands. But yeah. But yeah. Okay, so for the next step, I'm going to be taking some, uh, my wolf face paint in black, and I'm going to be using it to draw in them pupils. Now, they feel a little hard because I drew, I went... Inside the lines. Oh, now, oh, now it's starting to come together. Now, of course, as you can tell, my alien's eyes are not that identical, but who really, who cares? Who cares then? At least when I close them, it'll probably be better. He looked better. It's current 11, it's 11 something AM. So where are you at? Shouldn't be at home. Oh, comment down below if you guys ever seen any UFOs in your lifespan. Okay, so I'm just adding some shading around the ears, like so. Then I'm gonna add some just black. Uh huh. Shade in the irises as well. And I'm also taking some. I'm also adding dots on there as well. Maybe I'll add some on the face. Oh yeah, that looks... I think the dots are the thing that really brought this look together. there. So I guess all that's left to do is show you guys the finished look. And 
that completes my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this alien look. Um, actually, I honestly think that this is my second look I've ever done. Looks very my favorite look I've ever done. It looks pretty freaking dope. But anyway, so, uh, like. Be sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because I will be uh, uploading every week during the month of October. And if you guys have, and like this video if I, if I am very uncomfortable right now, which I am, uh, like this video and comment below if you ever had any extraterrestrial or alien experiences or you've ever been abducted by an alien comment that below as well and be sure to hit that damn notification bell and all the products used will be listed in the video description below as well as some helpful ways on to like prepare this alien headpiece but yeah so until next time bye okay